In today's news, the ones stifling crypto's innovation have all been put in the crosshairs. We have this just in from Fox Business, that the Republicans are ripping into Jamie Dimon's crypto comments. But quickly before we get into that, this clown has been in power for far too long and the Ripple executives have had enough. As we can see here, Gary Gessler recently stated that there's a lot of non-compliance in the crypto space. It undermines confidence when so many people have been hurt and all they can do is stand in line in the bankruptcy courts. Further, this can make it hard for the good faith actors to compete and CEO of Ripple Brad Garlinghouse rips into Gary Gensler here stating the stunning hypocrisy from the person who cozied up to the biggest fraud in recent memory. Of course, referring to the FTX case with Sam bankman fried He was very close friends with Gary Gensler and Brad Garlinghouse continues stating that Gary Gensler is a political liability whose actions have decimated consumers and destroyed the integrity of the SEC all while remaining buddy buddy with Wall Street but that is not all as we can see here from David Schwartz and Stuart Olderotti the SEC has now filed its response to the order to show cause in the debt bot case and just to be completely transparent and to understand that Effectively, the government lawyers lied to the court to get an unfair advantage in litigation and the SEC's answer is now to say that going forward, those lawyers will now be taught to be honest when saying things to the judge. Not beforehand like they should be, only now will they be honest, which is absolutely absurd to hear. Gavi Gensler's SEC has become a travesty. And it's people like him, the corrupt individual, the one stifling crypto innovation that need to be removed. And we can see more evidence of that here from XRP Drops. At this just in on Fox Business, Republicans are ripping into Jamie Dimon's crypto comments. Here we can see Republican French Hill giving his overview of the upcoming crypto bills, explaining the importance of tokenized payments of the dollar as a stablecoin. And he calls on Jamie Dimon to participate in a proper regulatory framework for digital assets. Well, Jamie Dimon is a great CEO at J.P. Morgan Chase. He's not right about everything. And in this case, I disagree with him vehemently. Uh, you know, this is sometimes you stand where you sit and the banking industry is concerned about decentralized finance. I think it's an overwrought concern. And, and actually, J.P. Morgan Chase has one of the largest digital tokenized payment uh, plans in the world that they're working on inside their own company. So I think his uh, statements were a little over the top. I wish him a happy new year, and I hope he can help us uh, get the right kind of digital assets regulatory framework passed in the Congress. This is a massive win for the crypto industry today, and this is precisely what Ripple has been fussing for for a very long time, which we can hear here in this speech with Brad Garninghouse. He states that we weren't in Washington fighting for Ripple, we are in Washington fighting for crypto. We are not against the industry, I want to support it. Ripple has paved the way for this industry, and thanks to Ripple, we're going to see crypto and especially XRP soar to the moon. Therefore, watching people like Channel Clark, be good day and good night.